Hello everybody, today is going to be a collection of mini reviews on some products that I've been testing out, working with, experimenting with, and these are all things that I have been wearing on my face a lot. A lot of you guys have seen these products worn by me on camera, and I will say that almost all of these things I'm about to share with you today are items that are lesser known. They're either products or brands that don't really get a lot of um, airtime on social media that really fly under the radar and I figured it would be very interesting for you and me to sort of discover these things together and see what we think of them. Before we get started though, if you're new, my name is Anya and I post videos on my channel every other day and on days in between. So as a result, I have about five to six videos a week on my channel. My channel is consisting of basically a melting pot of all things makeup related. I love to do reviews such as these and I also love to do makeup comments videos and just talking about the industry in general and of course all of that can be found on my YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing even more makeup related videos I also have a makeup Instagram account on which I publish makeup photos of my colorful makeup looks and I also do tutorials on my IGTV as well so I'll put my Instagram on the screen so you can see what it looks like but without further ado let's just get into the video. Now the first things I want to talk about are these Makeup Geek Iconic lipsticks. I have two shades with me. I have the shade Rare and I have the shade Candid. Makeup Geek is a drugstore brand. I found these in Target and I mean they really stood out from all the makeup that I was looking at because of like just how sleek the packaging is and from what I can remember these are super inexpensive. They still have like the little stickiness from like the tags and the ceilings that were on them you know but I will say that I got two like taupey brownie kind of nude shades. So this shade called Candid, it's kind of like a brownie taupe color. I will swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see. It's pretty much like this. Both of these lipsticks are super, super pigmented and they're very opaque in color. Um, and then this other one is called Rare. Now, Rare is, in my mind, a little bit more of a true brown. Candid is a little bit more rosy in tone, but both of these shades are a variation of like a taupey brown color lipstick. I have noticed that Rare, which is this one right here, is a great deal more matte and creamy, whereas Candid has a little bit of a, um, I would say, kind of glossy border bordering on the edge of cream finish. So these are both very pigmented, very opaque. I've tried both shades a multitude of times and worn them in several videos. I have found that I really do like both of these shades, even though I do think that the rosier one, which is called uh, Candid is a little bit more flattering on me because it has a natural luminosity to it And I also think that that um, added hint of pink really helps it be a little bit more flattering on my lips uh, But I have noticed that yes, these do stay on for a pretty long time. They are really good quality I really enjoy these lipsticks and I reach for them a lot. These are definitely standouts I have really been enjoying them so far and they're pretty great since they're drugstore, but they're a little bit more I mean they seem so so I would say a little bit more high-end than drugstore, which is a nice surprise, definitely. Moving on, I have some items from the brand Hard Candy. Now, Hard Candy is definitely a brand that I don't think I see a lot on YouTube at the moment, um, and I definitely did not see any kind of information about these products that I'm, that I'm about to show you right now. These are the Hard Candy Glitterazzi Dual Ended Eyeshadow thingies. These are the eyeshadow duos, basically. So one end is a liquid eyeshadow right here, and then the other is basically a glitter suspended in like a clear liquid format. So this is like liquid glitter right here, and then this is liquid eyeshadow. So I have three shades so far. Spoiler alert, I do want more. I have the shade Earthy Vibes, which is like this blue color. I have Cosmo Queens, which is like this pink variation. I'm actually wearing Cosmo Queens, like the glittery, um, the glittery side on my eyelids today. That's why you have like that glossy effect. And then I have Supernova, which is like a greenish sort of like a very unique variation as well. A lot of you guys have been asking me what I've been wearing on my eyes recently. Um, a lot of my eye looks lately have been very glittery, very glossy looking, more so than most of the time. And I've gotten a lot of questions about how I achieve this effect and 
just asking for tutorials on just that kind of look and on my IGTV I have featured a few tutorials uh, with these glitters and I have been loving them so much. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you a quick fire review on each one of these sides individually because they are technically different products. So. Uh, let's start with the liquid eyeshadow side. The first thing that I will tell you is that these look a lot more sheer on the lids than they do in the packaging. But of course, that was a given. The second thing that I have discovered in my personal experience using these is that they go on a lot better with fingers, in my personal opinion, because I feel like with fingers it's just a lot easier to a lot easier to mani manipulate the product. But here's another thing. These don't layer very well. Um, if you try and go in with too many layers, they will get super patchy. I prefer to use a tapping motion when applying these onto my eyelids, and I like to not spread them around too much, otherwise they will start getting a little bit patchy, but I have yet to find a liquid eyeshadow that doesn't need a certain amount of finessing to work out. I would say they're good, but they're, for me, not the standout part of this product. The standout part of this product would definitely be this end that has the glitter in it. And I would say 9 times out of 10, whenever I pick these products up, I am using the glittery end because I love it so very much. Um, again, my favorite way of applying these is just by using my fingers. I find that when I first apply these, they're super opaque, super glittery, very shimmery, and they spread around very easily. If you look at uh, the glitter that I applied on my eyelids, eyelids today, I started it off by applying it in the, to the the inner portion of my eyelid but then I just spread it around to the rest of the lid and it was pretty easy for me to do so. I will say that once they dry down they say they stay put so you can't really move them around as much you only have a small window of time to really work with these and similar to the liquid eyeshadow end these don't layer as well. I would say that if you try and use these as eyeshadow toppers don't apply too many layers because once you start applying too many layers of these glitters they will start sort of like becoming very patchy, peeling off. I remember the first time I used these, I got so excited and I just started piling it on and piling it on. And my like eyelid just started just my eyeshadow just started pat uh, just gathering in certain areas and my eye look just was completely ruined so I just started over so I will say that you have to be very careful when layering these but once you've really gotten the knack of it the effect is simply stunning. I will have put images of me wearing these on the screen already so you can really see how impactful and how unique looking this effect is. I would say that my most used shade option is definitely this one. I have been loving using this green glitter on my lids a lot and yeah I mean I just honestly love all three of these. Again today I used this one right here which is uh, Cosmo Queens. I used this pink one on my eyelids uh, over some red eyeshadow and I absolutely love the effect. So these, are, so these are definitely standouts. I can't believe I haven't seen more coverage on these because these are absolutely beautiful. Not everything I tried was hats off amazing, alright? I will show you this product right here. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Color. This is essentially a very opaque gloss and the shade that I have is everything. I'm wearing it on my lips right now and I'm going to tell you in a little bit my favorite way of applying this gloss. But if you look at this, um, this is essentially a very sticky gloss and weirdly enough the applicator is super flimsy as, as well. It's like this paddle shape and yes applicators don't really matter to me too much because I use my fingers in a lot of my makeup looks but you can really see if I open this, let me show you. Um, how stringy this gloss can be. And I'm showing you that because when I tried, or when I would try many times to apply this gloss to my lips, I would experience that stringiness and I would experience a great deal of stickiness as well. Um, let me just swatch this gloss for you so you can see what it looks like, but this is a very opaque looking gloss. It's like essentially a mid-tone pink, very fall appropriate of course, and that's pretty much what it looks like when you swatch it. So it's a very, very opaque looking gloss. For me, this gloss is a little bit like sticky, it's a little bit goopy, so I don't really like it if it's applied on my lips in a very opaque manner, especially if I'm applying it on top of another lip color. 
my favorite way of using it has been to apply this with my fingers and to really sheer it out. And let me just show you what it looks like when I do that. This is what you get when you really sheer out that formula. You get a very light but still glossy effect and I really like it. It's how I applied that gloss to my lips today. I will say this, this gloss is super sticky and if you don't like sticky glosses, don't get it. And that's kind of why I don't um, recommend this gloss that much. It's not a terrible gloss, but I only want to recommend things to you that I absolutely love. And I can't say that I absolutely love this. Is this going to be a gloss that I use up? Most probably yes, because it is a pretty nice fall shade. Um, and I have been wearing it a lot and it's very flattering. However, the stickiness is something that I can't really get behind. At this point in time, I already have so many glosses that are not sticky that I like more than this one. And this is also like a kind of high-end brand as well. Bare Minerals isn't necessarily that cheap. So I expected more from this and it's just not a gloss that I absolutely love or can feel comfortable recommending to you. A gloss that I really do like is actually from the drugstore. This is the Milani Keep It Full Moisturizing Lip Plumper and it comes in this like thick tube like this and it looks very gold inside the tube but once you take it out and swatch it, you realize that it is like essentially a very light um, champagne color. It's so beautiful and when you spread it out, you get like this beautiful, like almost completely clear, but very glossy effect. This is what it looks like right there. I absolutely love this particular shade. It's in the shade number two, Nude Shimmer. You have like a little bit of micro glitter in here, but it is so tiny that it doesn't translate on the lips at all, really. You just get this very glossy, very glass-like finish. Um, and I just, I love this so much. And here's another thing. It is not sticky in the slightest. And see, here's the thing with stickiness. I feel like a lot of times stickiness can really help with the long wearing nature of a gloss. But I have found with this one, it still wears for a very long time and it hydrates my lips and it's not sticky, which... It's interesting to me. So yeah, I would highly recommend this gloss. It's absolutely beautiful. I see it being a wonderful gloss for so many different people and I just, I love it. And it's a drugstore gloss. So I would highly recommend this gloss. I think it's amazing. Uh, really just 10 out of 10. I really like it a lot. There's really nothing bad I can say about this gloss whatsoever. It's just that amazing and I love it. And I love wearing it with like a nude lip. It's so flattering. When I was shopping around for makeup products, I was really like attracted to sparkly, glittery sort of things. And that's how I ended up with these uh, Leek uh, Beauty Sparkle Lip Toppers. And I got three shades. So I have this shade, which is Angel, that I took out of the packaging just yesterday. Um, and I just need to keep these in the packaging for some reason because I just it just feels so luxurious for some reason. I don't know. But then I have this one called Angel, which is like a really, sorry, let me just take this out. It's a really pretty like bluish color. All right. And then I have this one called Champagne, which is kind of similar to Angel, but like a little bit more blue tone. So I have been wearing these on my lips many times. I have been testing these out. These are lip toppers, so you're essentially supposed to wear them on top of other lip colors to really add like a sense of, I would guess, oomph uh, to it. These have micro glitter in them, so they're very, very reflective. And the micro glitter doesn't necessarily show up when you first put it on your lips. <laughs> However, here's my major, major caveat with this product. No matter how many times I use these, I experimented with these, no matter what I put them on top of, no matter how I applied them, I found that within about 20 to 30 minutes of application, my lips would be so dried out. And I love to just uh, really wear moisturizing, hydrating lip products. When I first experimented with these, I put them on top of a lip gloss. So I would have a lipstick 
lip gloss and then these on top. So in my mind, okay, a lip topper is supposed to act kind of as a gloss. It's supposed to be uh, hydrating like a gloss, but at the same time, it's supposed to add a little bit more sparkle. It's supposed to add a little bit more oomph to the look. These added that sparkle, but they completely dry out my lips every single time I wear them. And it's weird because I've worn these a lot on, my, on camera and I have noticed that when I look at the camera and when I look at the footage, they look pretty good, especially if I wear like, for example, this bluish one with like a bold lip, it looks very stunning, all right? But then if I look up close, if I look in the mirror and I look up close, or if I just feel my lips, like the, <laughs> it's just so drying. Like my lips honestly feel like they're about to fall off my face and I don't like that feeling. So yeah, that's why I cannot recommend these. Leek is definitely a brand that I think I would like to see more from and I actually have gotten um, or I have bought several of their products. I'm trying out so many different things for them, from them besides these and spoiler alert, I have very positive things to say about this brand moving forward. It's just that this particular product is not for me. It looks so beautiful in the packaging. The initial effect is absolutely gorgeous, but you leave it on your lips for more than 20 minutes and your lips look like glittery raisins and it's not a good look whatsoever. So those are all the products that I have to mention today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Maybe discovered some new brands, some products. Um, I definitely will be doing a video similar to this in the very near future because I have so many other makeup products I'm experimenting with. If I had to choose one standout product from this video that I think is truly unique, truly underrated uh, or just underhyped, I would say the Hard Candy Glitterazzi's. Absolutely beautiful and so unique. So if you're looking to get any one of these items, I would highly suggest getting one of these. And if you're someone who loves more neutral shades, they also have neutral options in this shade range. As you all know, I like colors, so that's why I just chose the more colorful versions. But if I had to choose one thing from this video, it would be this. And then of course, I absolutely love the Milani lip gloss, but my number one pick would be the Hard Candy Glitterazzi's. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.